my name is Grace. Uh, first of all, I wanted to welcome you all to our live tour of Gregson Hall, and I'm going to be one of the hosts for today for your tour. Who do we have here? Hi, everybody. I'm Keanu Perez. You might have seen me earlier a week or two weeks ago. I'm the CRE of Pomfret Hall, helping Grace out today. That's right. You were with us in Pomfret Hall. Good to see you again. <laughs> all right. So first of all, I'm going to show you your neighborhood and where Gregson is located. So we're located centrally on campus. And over to our left is Bruff, and that's where you're going to have... And we're not outside right now just because it's raining, oh, and yeah. so we're staying inside instead. We're just going to peek over from the window. So over here is Bruff Dining Hall. That's where you're going to eat all of your meals. And we also have Club Red, which is basically like a convenience area where you can grab all of the snacks and to-go items. You also have Starbucks, which is just um, right underneath Bruff, which oh. is... A really awesome perk of living in Gregson is you can just walk over there and you can use your app to order online. So you can just walk in, grab it and go. Super awesome. Gregson is also located right next to the Epley Band Hall. So um, shout out to any of my band residents. Super excited to have you all. And then, Were you in band? I was not in band. Oh, I could never play an instrument. So shout out to all of you who can because that is a true talent. So, um, and then we're also located right next to Gibson Hall as well. So those will be our neighbors. Yesterday we did a tour of Gibson. So yeah, right here, and there's so much close. I mean, it's right here in the central area, uh, Starbucks and yes. other uh, places to eat and everything. So it's great. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a two minute walk from Kimple Hall um, and the business center, which is also on the right side of Kimple Hall. So it's a very convenient place to live. Let me get a little pan of this uh, small but elegant foyer. Yes, absolutely. And so Gregson Hall is home to co-ed students. We actually only have upperclassmen students in this residence hall. So I'm really excited to have all of you here um, in the next few weeks. Um, and are we going to go ahead and show them downstairs? Yeah. Well, let's go, let's go up and look at the front desk maybe first. Yes, all right. So we're just headed up the stairs to go to the front desk area. And this is where you're going to receive all of your mail and packages. And during the business hours, we have our hall admin, Adam. He's really great. He loves all of our residents. And so you'll just come here during the package hours to come get any items. And if you have any questions, um, Adam and any other staff member working here will um, be able to help you. Yes, and so we have this lovely shield guard and you'll stand right behind it in order to communicate with our staff just for your safety and their safety this year. We want to make sure everyone's keeping safe and healthy. So. Keep it, keeping it safe all the time. Yes. Um, we have about um, seven or eight people watching, so let us know where you're from. We are curious. And, and Joseph, glad to have you watching again with us. We like that. Thank you. Yay. Um, great. Yeah, we'll continue to see more, Grace. Awesome. So on the left and right side of the front desk, this is where you're going to receive all of your mail and you're going to have a combination with your roommate. So you're going to share your mailbox with your roommate. And then um, on the left side, there's also going to be mailboxes over there as well. Plenty of mail. Yeah, absolutely. And we do handle uh, tens of thousands of packages. Uh, every semester. We, a lot of mail coming in and out. Hey, Haley from Batesville. Glad to have you. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Haley. All right. Shall we head down to the basement area? Yes. Yeah, so we're actually going to head this way. Smart. Okay. And Gregson Hall is made up of four, four floors, and we have three residential floors. And the basement that we're going to is the common space. And so that's the place where everyone goes downstairs to hang out um, and you'll get to see everything as well. But um, that's, it's great. So you have your rooms and it's pretty quiet on each floor. And then you have your common space, which is where everyone can kind of relax and hang out. And so it's nice to have that separation so you can focus on your studies and get a good night's sleep. Um, so we're just going to keep on walking and take you to the basement. Makes sense. Would you mind saying hello to uh, Rima from Stuttgart? Oh, Rima, hey, how's it going? Glad you're here joining us. Um, I'm from El Dorado, so I know Stuttgart pretty well. Yeah, down there. that's where we get all of our rice. 
Yes, the yes. Fall, right? Isn't the, it the Duck right? Festival, too. Yes, the Duck Festival. Okay, so we're going to head down the stairs. And it's kind of echoey down here, so sorry if I'm mm -hmm. a little echoey. And um, Gregson also is home to Class Plus. Class Plus is the academic resource center for our campus. And so what's really awesome about that is if you ever need any help with your academics and any tutoring or any study guides, Class Plus is going to be your one-stop shop. And so um, they actually reside in the building. Oh, thanks, Keanu. They reside in the building with us, which is really awesome. Class Plus, yeah. Do you know um, what the website is to check out Class Plus? Is it just like... I think it's just... Um, hmm. I mean to put you on the spot. I'm not entirely sure myself. I think it's Class... If you type in Class Plus in UARC, you'll certainly get there. Yeah, in Google. I'm sure it's, it's that. And so um, they actually are located um, in our building, but you have to go outside of our building and around to get to their main entrance just so that they have their own entrance so no one um, that aren't our guests in our residence can come through our building. So it's a secure place that they have. Sure. We'll go ahead and get a pan of this room, which is yes. really nice down here. Welcome to the common space. And so we have some study areas. This is our entertainment area. So you have the giant TV room. A lot of our students come down here and watch movies all the time and hang out. Um, it's also located on the left is the kitchen and on the right is our laundry room. It is the only laundry room in the building, um, but because we only have three floors, there's not many residents that you're sharing it with, which is nice. You mind if we head in there and show the kitchen in the? Yeah, come on. So over here is where the kitchen is located. And in here, it's a fully full kitchen. And this is also where you're gonna have your ice machine. So if you ever wanna come down here and you don't have your own ice machine in your room, you can come down here. And meals that if they need additional meals if they don't have a full um, meal plan they can utilize this kitchen so a lot of students come down here um, this year what's going to be different is that we're not having any equipment to check out just because we want to ensure that um, safety measures with uh, covid and so just making sure if you do want to cook over here you just bring all of your pots and pans with you um, and then if you have any cutlery or cookware, um, kitchenware, you just bring disposable items and um, that'll work great for us. Great, okay. All right, so we're gonna head out of the kitchen and you wanna go into the laundry room? Yeah, let's take a look. All right. I'm sorry, you told us before how many people live here? Yes, so um, just about 200 residents live here over the three floors and so here's the laundry area. I'll move away so you can get a better view. So what's really great about the laundry service is that it's actually already included within your fees. So you don't have to bring any money down here to use the laundry service. What you're gonna do is just come down here with your laundry. And what we really encourage is for you to use the laundry alert. Um, and we have the instructions right in here in the laundry room. So it's an app. So basically they're attached to each laundry, um, laundry machine. And so whenever your laundry's finished, it'll alarm you. And so then you can come downstairs and grab your items so that they're just not sitting in here. Um, so you can move your items into the dryer and it'll alert you when your stuff is finished. Yeah. Uh, and let you know also, and you may have said this, that uh, when ones are open. So yes. don't even have to come down to check. You can just check laundry alert and know, yeah, that one's open for me. Right. So it's super awesome. And if there's ever any problems, we also have um, these QR codes on each device. And so you can always scan these to provide um, a report so we can have everything fixed as quickly as possible. Right. What else do we have here on this floor, Grace? Um, on this floor, we also have some additional entertainment space and some study rooms. So we'll show you to those. Okay. So over here we have our pool table area. And once again this year, we're not gonna be checking out any equipment just to ensure everyone's safety. But if you do have any items that you'd like to bring, such as your own pool sticks, um, and balls and cues, you're welcome to do that. We'd encourage that as well. Um, and so in here, we actually have our two study lounges. So 
This one is our smaller lounge. It'll fit two to four people. And then I'll show you that one. And then over here, we have a larger study space. So if you ever need to utilize this space for a study group, you can come down here and it, um, it allows for four to six residents in here. And plenty of whiteboards too. Yes, wow. also lots of whiteboards. And if um, I'd also encourage you all to bring your own erase markers so that you can carry them down here on your own um, just to have those with the whiteboards. Smart. Pro tip. Yes, pro tip. All the tips. Okay. Well, we're gonna head up to uh, head back up to the floor and look at uh, um, look at one of the residence halls. Yes, we'll look okay. at one of the residence rooms, rooms, I should say. And we'll look at um, the community bathroom. Sure. Um, Allison, I think you're right. We are getting uh, the uh, connection is a little bit bad down here in the basement, but we will be putting this on YouTube as soon as it's done, and you'll be able to uh, see the full version. And we're actually going upstairs now, so it should be better. Yeah, that's right. And we've actually been changing up some of the services um, with our internet access. So that could be why the basement was a little slower. So we apologize for that. Um, some of our facilities and maintenance staff was down there earlier today, um, updating it before you all arrive. Updating it, making it better. Yeah, I think, I think we were a little bit weaker than usual down there in the basement. Okay, so now we're back on the first floor, and this is, like I said before, this is one of the residential floors. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you into a community bathroom. Okay. And some things to note about the community bathrooms this year that we're doing a little bit differently. One is that uh, we're gonna be cleaning them every day of the week, not just during the weekdays like we used to. We're also gonna be cleaning them twice a week, or twice a day, which is new, and um, all the high touch areas like uh, doors and stuff like that are going to be cleaned even more often. Mm -hmm. so. so come on in, we'll show you. Um, obviously we have the toilets and the sink area. So what's interesting about Gregson is that each area is separate, which a lot of my residents have liked in the past because here um, a lot of my residents have gone in here to get ready, put makeup on and um, do their hair so there's a great vanity area um, which yes there's so much room in the bathroom to get ready um, and do your makeup and everything so um, while we are encouraging everyone to stay six feet apart um, the perk of that with Gregson is that our bathrooms are so big that it shouldn't be a problem interacting with your peers um, and maintaining that space sure and um yeah, that vanity is one of the best. That's the best vanity I've seen in all the halls. Right? It's, it's pretty cool. So Keanu's going to show you the showers over here. Give us a view of those showers there. Large space. You have a place you can step in first. And there's a little bar so you could put down your clothes or whatever you needed to. So you get in there. Yeah. And then the actual shower is right behind you. Which isn't a curtain, but an actual uh, glass Door. Would you mind opening that? A lot of built-in features for soap and towels and things like that. And there's three of them in here. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know how many bathrooms there are per floor? Yes, so there's two bathrooms per floor. And so, um, this is going to be on the north side, so um, the how we separate with co-ed is on this side is going to be all female, and then the right side is going to be all male. So that's how the bathrooms are going to be separated. Okay, okay, great. So we're about to enter into a residence hall room, and this is the perfect time to hit us up with questions about dimensions yes. or anything regarding living in your... Tape. There you go, you got it right there. Uh, just head on in and see all what right. we can do. So welcome to one of your future rooms, potentially. Um, every room is a double space and it includes um, two dressers, Let's two beds. Yeah, go ahead. Two beds, two desks, two desk chairs, and two closets. And the closets are built in, but the rest of the furniture is movable. And also every single room, residential room, is wood floor. And you have your own independent um, controlled air, which is nice. And so 
You also have your internet access individually and your cable access within your room as well. And that includes HBO as well, so you have quite a few choices there. Um, why don't we go ahead and go into the closet and just take a look in there. Yeah, so in the back see. you have a bathroom towel bar. Okay. Yep, like yep. this. Okay. And then inside you have your standard rack and shelf. And then I've seen a lot of students put uh, their shoe rack at the bottom. Um, and then up here in the cabinet, um, I'm too short for this, <laughs> but I've seen a lot of students put some um, their items of storage. So if you bring any suitcases or luggage, a lot of my students just kind of throw their stuff up there or they create little bins um, for additional towels or um, linens or anything like that. So things that are less, less in use. Sure. So lots of built-in uh, closet space as yes. well as movable furniture for everything else. Yes. So. Well, why don't we, um, without any questions about the dimensions, why don't we just go ahead and measure both mattresses? I think they're the same. Yes. But let's give it a go. Okay. Kiana, will you hold it on this side for me? Thank you very much. I feel like we're doing a magic trick with this. <laughs> Okay. My lovely assistant. All right. So this is 78 inches. 78. Uh -huh. So almost, um, there we go. Yeah, 78 inches is spot on. Okay. All right. Here you can let go. Thank you. Do you want to head over to the other one? Yeah, let's go ahead and just do both. I think they're the same, but yeah. always good to double check. This helps us check what we have on the website. Yeah, and this one's 78 as well. Okay, both are 78. Um, we had a question from Haley. She asks, how big is the window? And so why don't we, yeah, why don't we get a length and a width on that? Here, here you go. Haley, good question. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is 82 inches for the width. Okay. And let's get you the, the height oh, yes, as yeah. well. So 82 length. <laughs> it fell on me. And um, 60 inches for the height. 60 inches for the height. And that ledge is, I don't know, I want to say three or four inches maybe? Yeah, it's just about four inches. Four inch ledge on there mm -hmm. too. Okay. Good question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'll tell you what. Well, if a couple more questions come in the next minute or two, we'll take them. But uh, let me ask you this. What, uh, what are you most excited about? Um, or what have you learned the most working with this community? Ah, uh, okay, well that's a great question. So like I said before, Gregson Hall is home to upperclassmen students. And what I've learned about upperclassmen students is you all already kind of understand um, what, what campus is like. And so now you're kind of figuring out what you wanna to commit to. So your freshman year kind of tried to do everything or not enough and so your sophomore, junior, senior year are those make or break times where you're committing to your majors, you're committing to your organizations, you're trying to find internships. And what I love about being a part of that community is that I can help you find those things and our, our community um, development assistants can also help you navigate those resources and get you connected to faculty members and um, other campus partners that can make sure that you're being successful on campus, which is really awesome. That's brilliant. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful answer. Yeah. Um, Allison asks, can the beds be lofted? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, they sure can. And they can be lofted to this height if you want yourself or if you need any help, you can just ask us. But if you want them to be lofted with um, the other bar for this, you'll have to submit a fix it request. And so we can we can do that action for you before you even get to campus so that um, whatever height you'd like your bed, you can just put that in the fix it request. Just let us know your room number within that request and our maintenance staff will come in and service it for you before you even arrive. Yeah, and the, the way to do that, because uh, Haley asked, followed up and asked us, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. um, Housing.uark.edu forward slash F-I-X-I-T, fix it. And that'll take you to a form that you can fill out and you can get, um, get us to have it ready for you. And if it's not ready the moment you arrive, it's going to be done very quickly thereafter. So uh, please get that in. Absolutely. And once you all arrive, you're going to meet 
your community development assistance and you have two for this year. And so what they're gonna be here for you is for advising, for mentorship, um, for things like room issues with um, facilities or whatever you need. And so if you forget any of this information, you can always utilize them as a resource and they'll help you walk you through how to complete um, a bed lofting or if you do have a, um, an issue with cable, they'll walk you through the whole process. So, um, and they'll be with you throughout the whole year, which is great. Perfect. All right. Well, excited to have you coming next year. And uh, would you mind waving us out? All right. Bye, everyone. Um, we'll see you in a few weeks. Super excited to see you all. So thank you for tuning in.